What up? This is Ramash Green covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix new movie, Day Shift. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. Okay, so maybe at the time that I was screening this film, I was in a good mood. Perhaps I just finished munching on the latest weed edibles. Or perhaps I just got digits from a woman I just met at the bar. Or perhaps it was just one of those occasions when all is right with the world and nothing could go wrong. But whatever it was, I laughed and laughed and laughed my ass off watching Day Shift. Hey, I may be alone on this and that's fine, cause sometimes you gotta take the unpopular opinion, right? But to me, Day Shift is a hysterical buddy action comedy. Now, the film is not without its flaws, of course, especially in the third act where it feels a bit half-ass and subpar. But in terms of the dynamics of the two lead stars, Jamie and Dave bounce off of one another quite well. They made it work. And man, oh man, oh man, those vampires pretzel twist themselves and contort like they're some kind of Cirque du Soleil rejects. I mean, if that demon from the Ring movie franchise was a blood-sucking creature of the night is what I'm saying. And Carla Souza plays a terrifying villain. She really fright nights the shit out of that role. Written by Tyler Tice and Shay Hatton and directed by J.J. Perry, in Day Shift, Jamie Foxx stars as a hard-working blue-collar dad who just wants to provide a good life for his quick-witted daughter. But his mundane San Fernando Valley pool cleaning job is a front for his real source of income, hunting and killing vampires as part of an international union of vampire hunters. Co-starring Dave Franco, Carla Souza, Megan Good, Natasha Lou Bordizo, Snoop Dogg, Steve Howey, and Scott Atkins. Is this movie generic? Absolutely. The interracial buddy action comedy is one of the most played out subgenres in cinema. And it all depends on who gets to be the book smart and who gets to be the street smart. Who gets to be the nervous wreck and who gets to be the one to shoot first, ask questions never. So in this case, Dave is basically white Roger Murtaugh and Jamie is basically black Martin Riggs. So you mix that formula with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And while you're at it, Throw Snoop Dogg in there looking like John Wayne with a machine gun. And voila, you got yourself Day Shift. There's no sophistication here, folks. The script might as well have been written on a piece of used up rag. This is one of those movies where you leave your analytical brain in the trunk of your car before you go watch it. But man, much of the humor or the banters between Jamie and Dave are effective. Sometimes they would get a little too chatty, but they would still crack me up. Now, as far as the vamps go, credit where credit is due. The writers came up with their own interesting spin on the different types of vamps, which then of course requires different types of weapons and different types of bullets. And the whole union or teamster thing is also a nice touch, making it seem as if fangs are valuable and that the job of hunting vampires is like a regular working class employment where you get paid by commission or what you bring in. There are several noteworthy action set pieces in this film, including the opening sequence, but the one that stands out involves Royd Field, Steve Howey, and Scott Atkins, whose tandem provides a few impressive fights that are both silly and badass at the same time. It's such a shame that the film could not maintain that level of excitement for its climactic moments that frankly come across a bit too choppy and disjointed nearing the end. But you know what? I still stand by my possibly unpopular opinion in that this is an enjoyable film that doesn't take itself too seriously. And from time to time, we need that, you know? I certainly do. 